So we've talked about why you may be at increased risk for Lynch syndrome and cancer. Let's talk now about what we can do to take care of you and your family. Okay. The next step is for someone in your family, you or your cousin, to see a cancer genetics expert. It's possible your cousin has already seen someone in genetics locally to evaluate for Lynch syndrome. Do you know if she has? I don't think so. She would have mentioned it. I think she would have told me because we've been talking a lot and she knows that I'm worried about my own risk. Ideally, genetic evaluation and genetic testing would begin with your cousin. Why is that? In general, it's best to begin genetic testing with someone in the family who has had cancer. This gives the most information and then provides guidance for the best screening or testing for others in the family who do not have cancer. Okay, can she do this in Ohio? Yes, uh, she should ask her doctor for a referral to genetics and there should be someone local. If you're interested, I could also refer you to Shannon Moore who is in our area. She said she'd be happy to talk with you more about the family history, Lynch syndrome, and your risks. What happens at a genetics appointment? Shannon is a genetic counselor. From what I understand from other patients who have seen her, she asks a lot of additional questions about family history, gathers some additional data, and then talks through the pros and cons of genetic testing. When the evaluation is done, I receive a detailed summary with recommendations for your screening and management based on the genetic findings. If you do want the testing, she can coordinate that out of her office, then call you when the results are in to follow up and explain the results. Depending on those results, she will set up a plan for your recommended next steps with screening, which will also come back to me. If I meet with a genetic counselor, will this be covered by my health insurance company? Typically, yes, although it can depend somewhat on the specific insurance company, on how the genetics clinic does their billing, and of course the reasons for your going. Uh, but in general, the service is covered. When you call to make your appointment, you can ask the schedulers for information on how to check coverage. If you decide to have genetic testing, Shannon or someone in her office can talk with you more about insurance coverage for genetic testing specifically including whether or not pre-authorization is needed. So you think that there's enough cancer in my family history to have genetic counseling and genetic testing, right? Yes, I do. Um, I think it's a good plan. If you do go, you don't have to have the genetic testing, but the evaluation itself will help you learn a lot more about the pros and cons of testing for you. Based on the possibility of Lynch in my family, do you recommend that I have a colonoscopy and testing for uterine cancer now? Actually, I recommend you undergo the genetic evaluation first. There may be other things causing the cancer in your family or, there, or some syndrome I'm not even aware of. Mm. The result of seeing the genetic expert helps inform and guide your screening plan, and we want to make sure we're screening for the right possible things. Because you have two relatives with colon cancer, I would recommend colonoscopy beginning at 40 rather than 50. However, this plan could change to having colonoscopy even sooner and perhaps other screenings, depending upon the results of a genetic evaluation. We also would not recommend uterine cancer screening routinely. However, if after a genetic evaluation we find you do have Lynch syndrome, we would set up a personalized cancer screening plan for you that would include regular screenings for uterine, colon, and the other associated cancers. So it's kind of important to have the genetic counseling in order to decide what kind of screening tests to do. Exactly. We will take care of you in any case, but the information we get from evaluation and perhaps testing helps us provide the best possible care. I'm going to put it in a referral for you to see the genetic counselor, which you'll use if you decide to go. I recommend you give all that we've talked over some careful thought and then perhaps discuss it with family members. You're going to contact your cousin about the possibility of her seeing someone in genetics out in Ohio, or alternatively, I'd be happy to speak with her or her physician to explain the situation if you feel that'd be helpful. Then let's plan a follow-up in a couple of months to see how far we've gotten with this plan, and at that time, we'll be sure to revisit the issue of your personal cancer screening. Sounds good.